today I understand uh, you planned and you, you decided to start again a strong coalition uh, in order to, to uh, introduce total ban on alcohol advertising. Uh, what do you feel in the beginning of that now, how it will be different from the previous time? Well, we don't know yet and uh, this is just the beginning. This is an idea that everyone agrees that we have to do it. Everyone who? Uh, I mean those NGOs and some, even some media and some politicians, they do agree that we have to go for it. Because now the parliament is another one. It's not the same parliament that cancelled alcohol advertisement ban. So we have to work again. And that's very normal because when the political cycle is changing, we have to try again. And we just have to think about the right time to do that. We talked about that. If this is the right time, what do the people think about this advertisement? What is the general opinion? And what will be probably different from, from the last time is, is that we will probably use a little bit different tactics to, to work on it. Because we, we collected a lot of information. We analyzed this information. So we know the mistakes we did. And uh, there was too much hope on, on evidence, you know, just the facts to say. So the politics is not a science. So there are different rules that we have to know and we have to play those rules. And we have to use a little bit different methods. Of course, the science and evidence based is, is very important and we have it. We have now economical evaluation, what, what is the economical harm of alcohol consumption in, in our country. So now we have even economical arguments to use. So there is, a, there is an evidence in place. Uh, there is, a, I would say, support from the population. And there is a will coming from NGOs to try to do that again. And that's, I think, is the most important. And then we will see how that will be developed. And if not this time, then we'll try again and again, because public health, it takes usually many years to, to get the result. You mentioned that the parliament is, is not the same, uh, but otherwise, uh, how, do you, how do you see has the political environment changed uh, when we look at back at the, these days and, and uh, today? Well, the leading party is, is different one. But that, that doesn't necessarily automatically means that anything has changed. Because we discussed today that in every political party you can find people that will support the idea, that are really understanding the public health. They really support uh, alcohol control measures. So we will not look at the, at the parties, at the political parties. We'll look to, to persons that are supporting us. So we will work at the beginning with them. And then, of course, everyone, every member of parliament will, will get information, will be invited to any meeting. It's up to them to participate or not to change or not to change the opinion, but at the beginning we have to pay attention to those that are in favor to those strong alcohol control measures. Well, someone, a critic, might say that why are you focusing so much on advertising? It's probably not the most effective uh, measure. Why don't you work so hard with, with uh, taxation, for instance? Well, we work. We we'll work on taxation too, we we'll work on every subject that is related to alcohol control. And sometimes it, it looks that we are really very much focused on alcohol advertisement. But this is probably because media is, is too. So they talk about the things that, is, that are interested for them too. So that's why it looks like we really 
pay a lot of attention to that. No, it's, it's, it, I would say it's the same importance, advertisement and taxation and other measures. But this, this question is also related to media, to media income, to advertisement, money that is coming to media. And uh, this time we will try, again, actually we did that last time. We were trying to invite media to talk with them and to talk about uh, uh, some money allocation for a specific foundation for the prevention and the social advertisement campaigns that would cover those costs that they will lose when alcohol advertisement would disappear. But we didn't succeed at that time. I don't know why. Maybe we did something wrong. Maybe we invited some wrong persons or something went wrong. But we have to try it again. We have to work with the redactors, we, with the media owners to talk with them. And maybe they would support this idea if, if some percentage of coming from excise taxes would be specific, specifically allocated for, for the prevention and for the social advertisement that the state would buy from the private televisions and they would buy time actually for the social advertisement. So I, I don't see the real reason for them to oppose it because they would not lose anything. And for us it's, it's very important because when advertisement disappears, of course the, the effect comes quite soon, and especially when we talk about children. But there is another effect, we can call it side effect or, or another positive effect. If money coming from alcohol industry disappears, there is no motivation for the media to not to post articles about alcohol-related harm and what the industry is doing. The, exactly what happened after tobacco advertisement ban in Lithuania. So then hundreds of articles came out talking about how smoking is harm, uh, that we need to control it, and, and so on and so on. And we have result now. We have 1.5 times decrease in men smoking prevalence in 10 years after this. So that happens and there are many effects coming from that. So we have to, to work on this and especially knowing that the WHO is, is telling that the, the alcohol advertisement ban is one of the most effective measures that can really improve public health. Do you have specific expectations to an international community? Well, uh, nothing specific yet, but I'm pretty sure that if this question will, will be started very seriously and when the debates will start, as always we will need uh, support an opinion coming from international organizations and I would say not only from those typical public health organizations like Northern, Eurocare and, and other organizations. We have to think how to how to talk with the with the media associations, with different area, with the people coming from many different areas than, than public health to get the support because there were many myths uh, going around telling that, you know, we cannot stop advertisement in one country. That, that would not happen in this, you know, digital era. We cannot stop the broadcasting. Well, in fact, now, when you see in another context, in the context of of aggression coming from, let's say, from Russia, uh, talking about some specific televisions. So they stopped broadcasting. And that was not the problem at all. That just was a matter of decision. If people take it seriously, then they can do whatever they want. The same happened with tobacco advertisement. It, it simply disappeared from everywhere. So you cannot actually see it. 
So we need those media people um, also to tell if, if this is doable. We need the WHO, we need other experts to, to tell the opinion, to, to support and to say that it's, it's really true because sometimes when you work just in, in the, in, inside the country, uh, what your opponents are trying to do, they are trying to show you as a very radical. Uh, usually they call us Talibanic people. They're very extreme, they, they're very aggressive. So nothing about science, nothing, nothing about evidence-based. And we, have, we need people from outside to say that it's not true. It's about evidence, it's about about international recommendations. It's not coming from some former drinkers that are angry on, on, on everyone. So it's not like that. <laughs> How do you see the process should go from here now? I, I can imagine that you as an NGO coalition, how can you propose an amendment without a political party? We, we can't, uh, but there are members of parliament that are usually supporting those ideas. So we will ask them to help and to register this amendment once again. And that's very normal because if uh, after six months that anything is changed, you can apply again with the same proposal in the parliament. So there are people in the parliament that, are, that were supporting this advertisement ban in, in the last parliament. So some of them are the same. So we will ask for, for their support. And then we will help, as an NGO, so we will help to work. We'll go to, to the committees, to the discussions, we'll work with media. So we will do our job. And of course, the politicians have to do their, their own, because then they have to defend the idea with the committees too. They have to be active and uh, that's why it's important what is the time. Now it's the middle of the cad cadency of, of the parliament, it's probably not the best time because they don't think about the elections yet. So the discussions about those socially uh, sensitive questions, usually starting when the cad cadency is, is going to an end. So then, quite strange ideas are coming out and politicians want to be visible, want to show that they are doing something and that's good. Good and uh, good luck. Thank you. <laughs>